What up campers? We're back at it. This time we're going to River Nook Campground out in Kernville, California. Let's go. So these are the spots. They're absolutely massive. This is only half of our spot. Our truck is like, feels like two campgrounds away. This is like a perfect area to set up bags or other games and activities. Freaking not packed in at all. Super cool. But what's even better is that you back right up to the creek. How's that for an epic camp spot? We had some casualties of war earlier. Kobus, did you fall in the creek? Yeah. I fell in the creek twice. I fell into the creek. I fell into the creek twice. Every campground's got a super nice fire pit that's dug down to keep it out of the wind. Most of the spots have nice mature trees so you get lots of shade. And these all back right up to the river. Every site's got its own little picnic table, which is also a bonus. The park does have Wi-Fi, so you can jump on the internet and still be connected to society. We did get in trouble and so did our neighbor for dog boning down from a 50 amp to a 30. So if you book here, make sure to tell them whether you got a 50 or a 30 amp trailer. There's so many trees though around the whole campground. Every site has tons of shade. It's just very, very nice. The 50 amp spots. They're 50 amp partial hookups. Partial hookups. You got a dump station on site, so. Riverfront. Look at this. Oh, you got guys whitewater rafting on by. I guess this is a popular area for whitewater rafting. We saw the launch points the whole way up. 424, by far the best spot in the whole park. Big old corner lot. The living space on the other side is huge. So 425 is pretty good. You back right up to this river. Got some nice shade. This is when you want that hybrid. You just lay in that bunk end with the rushing river. I still miss that. A lot of big rigs here, big class A's. We just saw mobile suites, like $250,000 fifth wheel come by. Size is not gonna be an issue at this park. These are all the full hookup spots down at the end. They're all pull through. I think you have to be under 60 feet. Yeah, this park can fit everything from little bitty pop-ups all the way up to big giant class A's. This whole section down at the end behind the uh, dump station is where all the tent camping happens. Nice shaded spots for the tent campers. Check out these tent spots, dude. If you're a tent camper or just like an overland camper, this is the jam. You literally back your rooftop tent right up to the edge of the river and just fish from your tent. Some of these tent camping spots even have electricity. You have water and electricity in your tent. Awesome. Just look at these views, man. You're just tucked down in this valley. Killer mountains behind you. River rushing by. Yeah, the height is very, very real. Here's the dump station right up next to the river. They even have instructions on how to dump your tanks. You actually need that though, because uh, last time when we were dumping at Kachuma, this German guy obviously rented his RV and let's just say he didn't know how to work the the bayonet style fitting on the black hose. And uh, I was just very, very glad not to have to pull into that station after him. 
But yeah, this one's right at the edge of the camp up near the river. So you hit it on your way out, good to go. There's a huge turnaround space. For the price, how much is it? Like 45 bucks a night or something? 56 bucks a night, 46 dollars a night, partial hookups with this dump station and all these crazy views, like even when you're dumping <laughs> and uh, very worth it. feet raindrops falling on the street i can't recall when i last saw the sun summer's just a memory a faded piece of history no one can remember all the fun the late night barbecue they got a nice fish cleaning station down there for when you rope all your trout out of the river some public restrooms if your black tank starts getting full or you're gray, that's us. Or you're in a pop-up. Or you're in a pop-up, that's right. We're in the 50 shower a day club, so we'll probably fill up our gray tanks later this afternoon on day one. Tons of killer golf cart trails. I'm so mad I couldn't get my lift done. Parts didn't show up till an hour before we left, but uh, lots of places to bomb your golf cart. And the creek runs right here. This is a nice touch. They come and rake all the campsites before the next guy checks in. In other words, the maintenance is good. There was about 10 families camped around the across the river and they had tons of activity set up and all kinds of boats. Bonus. Sounds like they got one. Let's take a look and see. Jake's gets to reel it in. I'm trying all. Oh yeah, he's jumping, Joe's. Oh my gosh! Go grab him, Jake! Look at me! Yeah! Show them off and smile! Just like Cyril does. Kobe, it's your first rainbow trout. You wanna send him back in? Give him a little wiggle? And he's off. I turned my back for a second to go check on the Swift Water Rescue Team and come back to them pulling another trout. Good trout! Oh, that's a great size. Look uh -oh. at that beauty. Look now, Seal. Okay, I hope you watch this video. Boom. All right, so put him back. Put him back. Give him a little COVID. kiss that Cyril gives. Wow, COVID. A little deeper. There we go. Nice. Bye -bye, bye. Sometimes you get very lucky, and sometimes you don't get even close to being lucky. We're making the most, or kind of, we're making something out of the bad weather and going to Kernville Brewing Company. Kern River Brewing. Kern River Brewing. They have food. 
Yum. Not a bad place to come and enjoy a delicious adult beverage. So yeah, that Kernville Brewing Company was the bomb. We had a lot of good beers. If you like IPAs, they had a lot of those, but they had a lot of other beers too. So uh, definitely a good way to kill some time if the weather gets bad. The other thing is this area seems to be like a mecca for whitewater rafting and like kayaking and stuff. So we saw a lot of whitewater rafters and kayakers. Yeah, a bunch of people from our campground even got picked up by the whitewater rafting company. So it seems like this would be a killer place to set up shop and then go do some whitewater adventures and then have a killer campground to come kick it out afterwards. And again, this is why you go out even when the weather reports are bad. I know a lot of people canceled for Memorial Day because the weather wasn't looking good, but uh, it rained very minimally. The like estimates were much more pessimistic than what it ended up being. It rained for a couple of hours yesterday, which is why we went out into town. But uh, it's gorgeous now, and it was gorgeous like almost the whole rest of the time. And same with our trip to San Antonio, which you can check out up there. But uh, you know, even when the weather's bad, like somebody said in that Rockwood RV club on Facebook, the worst day camping is still better than the best day sitting at home. So. That's a wrap from the River Nut Campground out in Kernville, California. This place is the absolute bomb. If I had more than two thumbs, it would get them all. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you on the next adventure.